Hello everyone, Stefan here again from Salford and Manchester Gaming Haven. Welcome to another one of my videos. This one's going to be a little bit different because I'm not actually showing you anything about painting here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to why there hasn't been a painting video recently and also about what's coming up in future videos very, very soon. You'll hopefully recognize that this was my hobby room. Uh, it no longer is. I have put some shelves up and there's some of my painted and unpainted miniatures uh, up here. A whole load of unpainted miniatures here, but actually some nicely, hopefully you'd think nicely painted miniatures up here, some of my Empire stuff. Uh, the reason I've had to do this is because this back room's been cleared out so it can actually be used as a bedroom when my uh, girlfriend comes with her children to stay so that her children, aka my stepchildren, big shout out to Penny and Samson, can actually come and stay and sleep in here so it's going to get painted and stuff so they're going to be able to come and stay here so my hobby space has been relocated to my bedroom and it's set up in exactly the same way hopefully you recognize that so there's no major issue but that has obviously caused a couple of days delay to my hobby and to my painting and stuff uh, thankfully it's all good to go the next video coming up very very soon hopefully in the next few days is going to be a video on how to do object source lighting or osl essentially if you've got a miniature that has a glowing object on it a fire a torch a weapon that glows a laser that glows something like necrons with their weapons or power weapons if you want to do that it's how to do that so it's very much the opposite of what would normally happen normally in a miniature you're trying to paint how light reflects off an object with osl you're trying to paint how light is emitted from that object personally speaking subjectively and it is very subjective i'm not a huge fan of lots and lots of osl i know lots of people go crazy with it and that is totally cool if that's your deal then that's cool this is not a criticism of that but personally speaking i prefer very very subtle osl but it can be useful for various things uh, headlights on a tank for example or as I say, Necron weapons. I'm going to do a video on that mostly because it's been requested by a few people, but in particular by James, somebody who reached out to the Geek Asylum on Facebook and whom I've been in contact with recently to try and give tips to. So a big shout out to you, James. I'm going to be doing a video on that very, very soon. With that in mind, please follow us on Facebook. Please like, subscribe and comment to this video as well. If you have anything uh, any kind of technique, any kind of effect that you're really struggling with or you'd like to uh, have a look at or you'd like me to do a video about, then please let me know either through Facebook or through YouTube so you can visit Salford and Manchester Gaming Haven on Facebook or you can obviously comment here on YouTube and let me know if there's anything that you would really like to tackle or that you're struggling with and I'll see if I can do a video for you about it and you'll also get a shout out if your choice, uh, if your issue gets chosen. Object source lighting, as I say, is going to be the next one. After that, I'm going to be looking at textured bases, how to make different effects on bases, volcano effects, so lava bases, ice bases, snow bases, that kind of thing. I'm going to look at a few different kinds of bases, some of it using specific technical paints, some of it using technical paints that you then have to paint over. I'm going to look at a few different techniques, and then I'm going to look at how to paint faces. So that's coming up skin and faces that which will probably break down into two different videos so I'll have a look at flesh on torsos flesh on bodies flesh on arms that kind of thing and then I'll do a separate video on how to tackle faces uh, what I will do if people want is I'll do a number of different skin tones I will start with the basic um, sort of generic white skin tone if you want me to look at super pale skin tone or you want to look at different colored uh, skin, so brown skin, dark skin, if you want to look at any particular skin tone, let me know and I'll tackle that as well. But otherwise, I'll be doing it on sort of your generic, sadly, this sounds horrible, doesn't it? But your generic white skin. Um, and that's what's coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned. As I say, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know if there's anything you want uh, looking at in these videos. And until then, bye-bye.